बुलेसियावर राम चंद्र भगवान की जय बुले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय वर्णानामर्थ संघाना रसाना छंद मंगला नाम च करतार बंदे वाणी विनायक अज्ञान तिमिरांधस्य ज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुरुन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओं नीलांभुज श्यामलकोमलांगम सीता सारोपित बाम भाग पान महासायक चारु चापम नमा राम रघुवंशनाथ ओं कर्पूर गौर करुणावत संसार सार भुजगेन्द्र सदा वसत हृदयारे भव भवानी सहित नम ओ मनोज मारुतुल्य वेगम जितेन्द्रियम बुद्धिमतांबरिष्ठम वातात्मज वानर यूथ मुखम श्रीराम दूत शिसा नम व्रजे वसत नवनीत चौर गोपांगना चुकूल चौर अनेक जन्मा जित पाप चौर चौराग्रगण्यम पुरुषम नम रामायण सुमिरन जही सुमिरत सिद्ध हो गणनायक करीबर बदन करऊ सो बुद्धि राशि शुभ गुण सदन मुख हो वाचा पंग चढ़ गिरीवर गहन जा सुपा सुदया प्रभु सकल कलिमल दहन नील सरो करुण अरुण बारी जयन करो सोम उधार सदा क्षीर सागर शयन कुंद इंदु समे मन करुणा जाहिदीन 
पढ़ने करो कृपा मर्दन मयन बंद गुरु पद पंज बंद गुरु पद पास नर रूप महानी तम पुनु वचन रद कर पति राम चंद पुलिसियावर राम चंद भगवान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय राधा रानी की जय आदरणीय पंडित गण विप्रमंडली प्रिय भक्त समुदाय महानुभाव रिस्पेक्टेड पंडित पंडित देवेंद्र जी पंडिता शांति पंडित संजय पंडित सत्यनंद महाराज The devas devotees of the supreme lord the divine souls First let me say radhe radhe and sitaram to everyone and my pranam and humble prostrations to each and every one of you here tonight also take off at a bit or maybe put a different direction also to our viewers on social media facebook youtube and especially bhakti tv a very special radhe radhe to each and every one and my pranam my humble prostrations to all of you also I want to say a very special thanks to pandit satyanand maharaj of the satya anand ashram in arangwes trinidad and the producer of bhakti tv for bringing the santa yatra this ramayan yatra live every night so that many souls throughout the world will benefit tonight we begin in the first night we are the vaidhi trinidad in clarkson bay trinidad and the auspicious seas of pandit devendra on thank pandit ji and his wonderful devotees and members for inviting us that we start our yatra this ramayana yatra the first day first night here at this wonderful place of worship ramayana yatra a journey through the ramayan the holy pages of this to sikrit ramayan the ramayan itself is a journey a journey of the soul to bhagwan to sadashti maharaj wrote this ramayan in avadhi the simple language of the people originally shri valmiki ji maharaj had written the ramayan in sanskrit and how many people especially in the age of kalyug would understand sanskrit now in the age of kalyug and the difficulty we would face tulsidas ji maharaj embarked in 
bring in that Ramayana, that sacred text, and the journey of the Lord in his dissension and wonderful pastimes in the age of Tetayuk, in the holy pages in this language, Avadhi, or the common language of the people, so everyone can understand. We are taking this journey also, culminating with the Ram Naomi, Sri Ram Naomi, the appearance of the Supreme Lord, which we will be celebrating at Diwali Nagar on the 16th of April. We will be having three days program culminating on the 16th. And would, so everyone would be invited. And so tonight we'll be beginning this journey, this Yatra of the Ramayana. As we go through the holy pages of the Ramayana and we begin first with Bhajan, Kirtan. As we get our mind in tune to listen to the glories of the holy text, Ramacharitamanas. This beautiful bhajan, written by Jagat Guru Tam Sri Kripalu Mahaprabhu, the line says, and if we have the books, page 6, Radhe Radhe Bol Sham Bhaje Chale Aayenge. If someone chants Radhe Radhe, Sham Sundar Shri Krishna would come running. The name Radha is very dear to Sri Krishna. So how dear the name Radha is? It is said that when Sri Krishna would go to sleep, from every paw of his body, Radhe, 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 the sound will emanate. The sound will actually come out from his body, from every paw. Why is Radha Rani so dear to Sri Krishna? First to begin, we have to understand who is Radha. Most people don't understand who is Radha, even in India. Some think that Radha Rani is the wife of Sri Krishna, consort. Some think she is a girlfriend, etc. Radha Rani is not the wife of Sri Krishna. The wife of Sri Krishna is Mahalakshmi, Rukmini. So who is Radha? The Vedas say, Yeyam Radha Yashra Krishna Sabit Dehas Chai Kaha Kiranatha Dvidha Bhut Atharva Vedi Radhika Tapani Upanishad. The Vedas say, there is no question of Radha and Krishna being two. They are one. One supreme power, supreme Brahm, has taken two form. They don't even have two bodies. Do Rup Banaya, they have made two form. That supreme power, Brahm, has created two form. For what? Krida, Leela, divine pastimes. Radhika Krishna Rupam Cha Krishna Radha Swarupaka. Sanak Kumar Sangita. The scripture says, Radha Rani is the form of Sri Krishna and Sri Krishna is the form of Radha Rani. They are one and the same. Even then, there is something very special about the form of Radha Rani. Even though she is Sri Krishna himself. The Vedas say, Atma to Radhika Tasya. Radha Rani is the Atma, the soul of Sri Krishna. The dearest thing to us is our self, our soul or Atma. If Radha Rani is the soul of Sri Krishna, think of dear she is to, to Sri Krishna. This is why the Rig Veda says, 
कृष्णे न आराध्यते इति राधा ऋग्वेदे राधिकोपनिषद डिस्क्राइब इन हु इज राधा रानी द ऋग्वेद से सुप्रीम ब्रह्म सुप्रीम पावर श्री कृष्ण हुम ब्रह्मा विष्णु शिव दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती एवरी वन वर्शिप्स दैट श्री कृष्ण ऑल्सो वर्शिप समन हुर श्री कृष्ण वर्शिप ही वर्शिप्स राधा That's why when we, if you, when you, if you want Sri Krishna to come close to you, then what to do? Chant Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, bol sham, bhaje chale aayenge. Radhe Radhe, bol sham. राधे राधे बोल शाम भाजे चले आएंगे राधे राधे बोल शाम भाजे चले आएंगे एक बार आ गए कभू नहीं जाएंगे एक बार आ तेरे साथ साथ शाम राधे राधे गाएंगे तेरे साथ साथ शाम राधे राधे गाएंगे प्रेम मगन तन सुधी बिसराएंगे प्रेम मगन तन सुधी बिसराएंगे ओ सुधी बिसराएंगे सुधी बिसराएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे भूल शाम भाजे चले आएंगे राधे राधे भूल शाम भाजे चले राधे जू के गुण गन मुरली में गाएंगे राधे जू के गुण गन मुरली में गाएंगे राधे जू की छवि लगी राधे जू की छवि लगी बली बली जाएंगे राधे जू की बली 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 जाएंगे बली बली जाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे बोल शाम भाजे चले आएंगे राधे राधे बोल शाम भाजे चले आएंगे जय हो जय हो कहीं कहीं भूजन उठाएंगे जय हो जय हो कहीं कहीं भूजन उठाएंगे दो दृग आनंद जल बरसाएंगे दो जल पर साएंगे जल पर साएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे बोल शाम भाजे चल आएंगे राधे राधे बोल शाम भाजे चल आएंगे एक बार आ गए कभू नहीं जाए एक बार आ गए कभू नहीं जाएंगे एक बार आ गए तो कभू नहीं जाएंगे एक बार आ गए तो कभू नहीं जाएंगे राधे नाम लेके मुर्च 
दर्शित हो जाएंगे राधे राम लेके मुर्चित हो जाएंगे राधे नाम लेके मुर्चित हो जाएंगे राधे नाम लेके मुर्चित हो जाएंगे कबू हसेंगे कबू आंसू बहाएंगे कबू हसेंगे कबू आंसू बहाएंगे ओ आंसू बहाएंगे आंसू बहाएंगे ओ राधे राधे बहाएंगे राधे राधे बहाएंगे राधे राधे भूल शाम हाजी चले आएंगे राधे राधे भूल चले लकी लकी रसी कन मन मुस्काएंगे लकी लकी रसी कन मन मुस्काएंगे ओ लकी लकी रसी कन मन मुस्काए लकी लकी रसी कन मन मुस्काएंगे राधा भाव गई शाम 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 गाएंगे राधा भाव गई शाम 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 गाएंगे ओ शाम शाम गाएंगे शाम शाम गाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे शाम गाएंगे राधे शाम गाएंगे ओ राधे शाम गाएंगे राधे शाम गाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे शाम शाम गाएंगे शाम शाम गाएंगे ओ राधे राधे गाएंगे राधे राधे गाएंगे शाम शाम गाएंगे शाम शाम गाएंगे राधे राधे भूल शाम आगे चले आएंगे राधे राधे भूल भाजे चले आएंगे राधा कृष्ण भगवान की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय Yeah, but then it's difficult for me. Yeah, I think you all, you all come and let them. You can shift her wrong a bit, yeah. Let them come in the corner. You go this way. सुरनर मुनि 
सचरा चल साई मैं पूछ मुझे प्रभु की नाई जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम पुलिस यावर राम चंद भगवान की जय भगवान श्री राम लक्ष्मण और मां सीता चित्रकूट में है एक दिन लक्ष्मण प्रभु के साथ चित्रकूट में बैठे थे प्रभु सुख आसीन खुश होके बैठे आराम से उसी समय लक्ष्मण के मन में आए कि प्रभु से कुछ पूछना चाहिए चल ही मन से कुछ पूछना चाहिए अब ये चल ही का यहां क्यों इस्तेमाल किया तुलसीदास जी इसके भी बहुत महत्वपूर्ण अर्थ है वाइल भगवान श्री राम लक्ष्मण एंड मदर सीता वो इन चित्रकूट इन बानिशमेंट इन द फॉरेस्ट वन डे भगवान श्री राम वो सिट इन वेरी कंफर्टेबली इन चित्रकूट सडनली इट केम इन द माइंड ऑफ लक्ष्मण इज यंगर ब्रदर लक्ष्मण जी महाराज लेट मी आक्स द लॉर्ड सम क्वेश्चन आई हैव सम क्वेश्चन इन माई माइंड सो विदाउट एनी छल डिसीटफुलनेस छल हीन ही आक्स द क्वेश्चन उन्होंने कहा कि हे प्रभु हे स्वामी जो देवता मनुष्य मुनि और चराचर जगत के स्वामी है और ये जानकर कि तुम मेरे ही प्रभु है और कोई नहीं इसलिए आपसे कुछ पूछना चाहते हैं इसे रो लॉट माई लॉट यूर लॉर्ड ऑफ द देवताज human beings the munis and rishis movable as animate as well as inanimate be in the entire universe you're the lord and you're my swami my master also knowing this i want to ask you a question why did uh, tulsidas he use the word chalhin without any deceit in the mind Bhagwan Shri Krishna in Gita says something very special will give us an understanding here. Bhagwan Krishna says to Arjun, "Tat vir prani pate na pari prashne na sevaya upadekshanti te gyanam gyani na statwa darshina." Chapter four, verse thirty-four, Gita. Very important. we have questions doubts we hear things we read things and we have doubts question comes we should clarify these doubts when one doubt will come in the mind sanshay atma vinashyati one doubt comes in the mind everything is destroyed so it's important to clarify these doubts but whom should we ask from should we go and ask anybody na nah. to bhagwan shri krishna is saying to arjun whom we should ask and how to ask two things 
whom to ask from whom should we question number 1 and number 2 how to ask both are important so he's qualifying who to ask from he says the person must have two qualities gyanina plus tatva darshina actually this is the quality of guru this is what guru qualifies one to be guru gyanina meaning that person may, must have all knowledge complete knowledge all the vedas all the puranas mahabharat ramayan gita all the scriptures not only ramayan not only gita complete knowledge and not only does he have knowledge anybody can read book like i am reading and give lecture but he is able to remove our doubts he clarifies our doubts that is gyanina and tatva darshina even more important so gyanina plus tatva darshina even more important tatva darshina means tatva means god supreme power shri krishna darshina one who has seen god attain god is attained the divine vision is attained god he's seen god he's seen god in every part of you if you are so fortunate to meet such an entity qualified gyanina plus tatva darshina what to do shri krishna says tad vir pranipatena pranipat means completely surrender completely surrender to him pranipatin number 1 number 2 pariprashnena so the the prashna means to ask question but he the word comes here pariprashnena that when we ask question of a divine entity a true guru and in this case lakshman is asking bhagwan it has to be it has to be with an inquisitive mind and not a doubt in one you see people ask questions many different ways somebody asks question to see how much the other person knows Ah, let me test it. Someone asks question to show how much they know. They have read a little bit here, a little bit there, and they want to show that they know so much. A lot of time, people come to me, Swami Ji. I read this book. I read that book, read, and then they start asking question. <laughs> In other words, to test the person or to show how much you know, and some ask to make an argument. create an argument no no we don't ask question like that we have to ask question one knowing the person who i'm going to ask have in faith that he knows the correct answer she knows the correct answer number one number two i don't know i don't know but i want to there's a genuine interest to know So this is why Bhagwan Krishna is saying Pari Prashne na. That's why Tulsi Das she says Chalhi na. This is how Lakshman is asking. It's important how to ask the question. And number three, Sevaya. Ah, in the case of a spiritual master, Guru, you do Seva. You serve. So in Lakshman. knowing that shri ram <laughs> bhagwan is gyanina tatva darshina is qualified who else is more qualified than bhagwan so lakshman decided to ask 
And he says, I know you're the Supreme Lord. You're the Lord of the entire universe. You're the master, Sai. Sai means, these words, Swami, Sai means master. You're the master, the, the Lord of the Devatas, Rishis, Munis, human beings, the entire world. And you're also my master, my Lord. And this is why, my Lord, I've chosen to ask you, as I have faith, that you will give the correct answer to me. Lachman is not different from Ram. It's not that Lachman is ignorant and does not know. These four, Ram, Lakshman, Bharat, Satrughan, is called Chaturvyu. One supreme power became four. Chaturvyu. They are all complete, but performing divine pastime, they act as they don't know. They don't know. In the scriptures, God and the saints, both are all knowing. Arjun is not ignorant. Arjun is the ascension of Naranarayan. But one pretends to be ignorant, he, he becomes a student, and one becomes a teacher, guru. One questions and one gives the answer, so that we, ignorant human beings under Maya, we will get knowledge. They ask the question that we would normally ask. Our doubts will get clarified. So Lakshman is asking, what does he ask? What's the question? Let's hear समझाए कहाँ सुई देवा सब तज करो चरण रज सेवा जय राम श्री कहाँ हूँ ज्ञान विराग और माया भुला कहाँ हूँ सोभाती करा हूँ जे ही दाया भुला जे राम शिव यावर राम चंद्र की जय मोही समुझाए कहो सोई देवा सब तज करो चरण रज सेवा हेल्प मी टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट नॉलेज दैट वन अटेन्स दैट वन वुड लीव एवरीथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड not be caught in this mind, this delusion of the world. Teach me that path. Tell me the thing, that path, that one would be able to become totally detached from the world. Leave everything. And only serve the lotus feet of the Lord. Charana Raja Seva. will only serve this lotus dust, the lotus feet of the Lord. Tell me, my Lord. Kahu Gyan Abhirag Arumaya. Tell me what is Gyan, what is true knowledge. Gyan. What is considered to be Gyan? 
This thing we hear so much about Gyan. Tell me what is Gyan, what is true knowledge, what is the Virag detachment, and what is Maya. Kahu so bhakti karau jehi daya. And tell me about that bhakti, that path called bhakti. The path of love in you. Only by the one, only the one who does bhakti, you shower your grace upon them. Tell me the path through which one attains your grace. Only the path which is called bhakti, no other path. Only bhakti. Bhagwan showers his grace. Tell me about that bhakti. This is the big questions he is asking. Tonight we can't answer all of them. But tonight I would like to delve into one. And Bhagwan is also given a very brief answer. He says to Lakshman, listen Lakshman. Bhagwan is going to give answer now. Ram, Siya Ram, Siya Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bolo Ram. Bolo Ram, Siya Ram, Siya Ram, Jai Jai Ram. सब कहाँ भुजाई सुन हुतात मती मन छिपलाई बोलो राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय जीवन काया बोलो राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय राम राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय राम बोले सिया बर राम चंद भगवान की जय दिस थिंग दैट लक्ष्मण इज आक्सन इज नॉट इजी it's very difficult. To answer these questions will take a long time. What does Bhagwan say? Thore maha sab kahau bhujai. I'm going to tell you very short, very concise. The gist, I'm going to make it very short, Lachman. Very short. I'm not going to speak too much. To suna hutat matimana chitalai. Therefore, Lachman. I want you to focus your mind and listen carefully. This is important. When we listen to Katha and we listen to spiritual knowledge, we cannot do anything else. We have to leave everything in the world. Forget everything. And focus the mind completely. Otherwise, it goes through one ears and come out the other one. How to listen to Katha? How to listen to spiritual discourse? Once, there was a Bhagavat. Reading of the Bhagavat Mahapuran in a village. And there was a store owner, a rich businessman. And he said to his son, Hey, beta, you should go and listen Bhagwat also. He thought the son will go and get some blessing by going there. So the son said, okay, papa. I'll go. The son went. And so happened the night the Pandaji, the Baba was reading Harishchandra Katha. You all know Harish Chandra, that he will speak the truth. Satyabadi. So he heard this Katha 
that night the Pandaji was reading, the Vyasa was reading Harishchandra Katha. And so that boy made it up in his mind that from today I will speak only the truth. No matter what happened. He ended Katha. He was so impressed with the Katha of Harishchandra. He decided from today I will speak only the truth. So he went back. And as a result of speaking only the truth, they started, the store started suffering losses. Oh, the father wondered what happened, what is happening in my store. So he one day he decided to hide in a little corner and see what's going on. And he saw that the customer was coming. And they would ask for some item, something. And the son would say to the customer, look, my father paid $20 for this item, but he's selling for $30, $30, $40 to make profit. Look, take it for $20. This is what my father paid for. And when he would weigh some item, long ago, you had a scale, right? On one side with a plate, on the other side you put the weight. Now you have digital. And underneath, the father had put a magnet, the plate. So he said, when the customers will come and they would put the alu, etc. He said, look, my father put something here. That he was robbing you four ounces. So I'm giving you four ounces extra. And the father said, hey, Bhagwan, How am I going to make profit? So when the customer left, the father went and gave one slap to the son. Gadha, you fool. What are you doing? How am I going to make a profit? So the son said, Papa, you told me to go and listen to Katha. Yes. And I went the night and uh, Vyas, he was reading Harishchandra Katha. That he spoke only the truth. So I decided to speak the truth also. It impressed me so much. Are you fool? There's a way to listen to Katha. Whole life I have been listening to Katha. When you go, and the, the, the Vyas is reading Katha. Take your handkerchief or if you have a shawl or something, you are a lady. Or in me. Take it and spread it in front of you. I say, Bichau. Spread it. And when the Vyas, the Pandaji is reading, everything come here. Everything come here. When the Katha is finished, shake it out. In other words, don't take anything. My whole life I've been listening to Katha. Nothing. I affected me. And this is how some people listen to. They go to Mandir, they go to Yagna. And they leave with nothing. Oh, Pandaji was so good. The Vyas was so, I enjoy so much. What did you, what did you hear? I don't worry, man. I enjoy myself. I had real fun. <laughs> nothing. Came away with nothing. And one night I heard someone, the Vyas, saying to the people, when I'm saying this kata, I want you to put one finger in the ass. Put one finger in the ass so it stays in there. I didn't, no, no, don't do that. It doesn't mean it. When I say it, go through one as and come out there, that doesn't mean literally. We have to listen with the mind. When we listen with the air, it goes and comes out. You don't hear anything. This is only a house. Inside this air is another air, a subtle air. Sukshma. And that is in the mind. So we have to apply the mind. Man lagakar, man lagakar. Focus the mind. 
and listen carefully. This is why the Bhagwan is saying, Mati man chitlai. The intellect, the mind, the heart. Bring everything together, he's saying, and focus. Focus, Lachman. Because I'm not going to be very long. I'm not going to be in very de great detail. Listen carefully. My arumor tor my tai maya. What is this maya? When one identifies with the body, one has forgotten that I am the soul atma. When we people say I in the world, what do we refer to? I am Trinidadian, I am Guyanese, I am American, I am Ramesh, I am a teacher, I am a doctor, an engineer, a Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, Hindu, Muslim, Christian. These are all titles of body. If I am the body, then I am Trinidadian. I am Ramesh, I am a Hindu, I am a Brahman, etc. But I am not the body. This body belongs to me. Because of Maya, we have forgotten that we are the soul Atma. From beginning less time. We have forgotten. So one who has forgotten that the soul, the Maya, the, the soul Atma identifies with the body. I am the body. There's a Maya. Jaha mor tor. Where is the feeling of ownership? This is mine, this is yours. My moruka, my house, my children, my bank balance. My parrot. <laughs> this is a Maya. The feeling of ownership. Yours, this is yours, this is mine. Nothing belongs to us. Nothing belongs to us. We sing bhajans, you know. Data ikram, dikari sari dunia. Data ikram, data ikram. Dikari sari dunia, data ikram, data ikram, data ikram. We sing beautiful bhajan. But do we understand the meaning? Do we feel the meaning? Or are we just singing to see how beautiful everyone can think? Guys, I'm better than the, the original singer. I am better than Hariyom Sharan. I am better than Lank Lata Mangeshkar. I could give Mukesh competition. It's all Manuranjan. Entertainment. Showing off. There's no feeling. Nobody is even bothering to understand what the bhajan is saying, what the meaning is. And even if we know, <coughs> we don't bring it in. We don't feel. What is the bhajan saying? Kidata e karam. Everything belongs only to Ram, to Bhagwan. He's the giver and benefactor of everything, all. Aus bhikari sari dunya. The whole, everyone in the world, we are all beggars. Bhikari. Can a beggar earn anything? Then how will you say in my house, my moruka, my bank balance? We are revolting against God. If you go and somebody has a boundary and they have a piece of land and you jump over and say, this is my land. <laughs> huh? This is government land, you decide to go and steal a piece of it and claim this is mine. What happened? The government will throw you in jail? That's what we are doing. We are stealing from the spiritual government, from Bhagavan. We are claiming 
spiritual property which doesn't belong to us. Ah, we are custodians. We are custodians of God's property. Take care of it. God has given to you. He's blessed you. Never have the feeling of ownership. This is Bhagwan. This is Prabhu. Ah, I love Bhagwan. This is his property. I will take care of it. But don't have the feeling, the attachment. This is mine. I'm not saying to destroy, to give away the muruka, burn down the house, give away the bank balance. No. Divorce your husband, wife, or, uh, disown the children. No. I'm not saying to do that. Just realize that just as I belong to God alone. Oh, mera swami hai. Sab kuch hai. He's my swami, my everything, the soul, atma. In the same way, everything and everyone belongs to Bhagawan only. Don't have ownership. So this is the Maya, he's saying. Jai ba shakeen jeeva nikaya. That controls the individual soul has made them ignorant and controls them and rotates and have us rotating in 8.4 million forms of life. Bhagwan for us says, he continues to Lakshman. चर जा लगी मन जाए गो गो चर जा मन जाए सो सब माया जानी आई बोलो गो गोचर जहा लगी मन जाई सो सब माया जानी हो भाई Go, go, char. As far as our material senses, mind and intellect can understand, can know. Go, go, char. Jaha lagi man jai. This all maya, material. Look. Our senses, mind and intellect मन इंद्रिया और बुद्धि थ्री थिंग्स मन बुद्धि इंद्रिया सेंसेस माइन एंड इंटेलेक्ट दे ऑल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ माया एंड दे कैन ओनली नो मटेरियल वी कैन नॉट नो डिवाइन गॉड विद अ मटेरियल माइन मटेरियल इंटेलेक्ट और मटेरियल सेंसेस as far as our mind, Tusidashi is making it very, Bhagwan Shri Ram is saying to Lakshman, as far as our mind, our intellect, our senses can go, it's all material. <coughs> so sabha maya. In other words, beyond maya, our material senses, mind and intellect cannot go. It cannot know divine, it can't know God who is divine. In order to know Bhagawan, that's, that mind, that senses, mind and intellect will have to become divine. So everything that our senses, mind and intellect can understand, can grasp, can know, it is all material. People claim they can see God, they experience God. Uh-uh. It's a delusion. 
that's only possible in order to attain to, to experience divine God we have to become divine Bhagwan Shri Ram says to Sugriv in the Ramayana later on in the Ramayana he says to Sugriv निर्मल मन जन सो मोहिता मोही कपट छल क्षेत्र न भावा बोला निर्मल मन जन सो मोहि पावा मोहि कपट छल छेत्र न भावा बोलो राम 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 बोलो राम 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 पुलिस यावर राम चंद्र भगवान की जय विभीषण द ब्रदर ऑफ रावण वॉज गिवन गुड एडवाइस टू रावण एंड रावण कुडन टेक इट ही किक विभीषण आउट ऑफ लंका विभीषण केम टू द शेल्ट ऑफ प्रभु श्री राम एवरी वन सीन विभीषण and knowing him to be the brother of ravan eh lock him up throw him in jail tie him up he's a spy he's the brother of our enemy he's the enemy bhagwan shri ram is sitting and he's looking at what is happening hasne lage he started to laugh he said sugriv eh hey, sugriv idha come here Sugriv is a general. <coughs> He said, "Hey, Sugriv, listen. Nirmal man jan so mohi pawa, mohi kapat chal chidna bhava." Sugriv, only those who are pure in heart, pure heart, pure mind, can know me, see me, attain me. I cannot tolerate deception, deceit, fraud. only when the heart the mind becomes pure divine bhagwan is saying can we experience bhagwan see him attain him even in the gita bhagwan krishna is saying to arjun i am god i am bhagwan i am god arjun just knew that shri krishna is his friend sakha <coughs> hai he said how you bhagwan Show me, the cow. Sri Krishna said, "Yes, accept, man. No, no, I want to see." The Bhagwan said, "You don't have the right eyes." Arjun said, "Give me the right eyes." Bhagwan gave divya drishti, divine eyesight to Arjun. Then Arjun could see. when in order to experience divine god we have to become divine chidanandamay deh tumhari bigat vikar jani adhikari tusidas maharaj is saying the ramayan just as god is divine chidanandamay his body deh is also divine chidanand mai and to see divine body of god we have to be bigat bikar jani adhikari bikar means maya bigat means one who's become free from maya 
In other words, he become divine. John, he's become adhikari. Then he will see. Otherwise, impossible. Bhagwan Krishna also says in Gita, Avajananti mamurha manushim tanumashitam param bhavam jananto mama bhuta maheshwaram Chapter 9 verse 11 Gita Arjun Unaware that I am God, Bhagawan Unaware of my divine nature Ignorant human beings We people under the control of Maya We mistake him for an ordinary human being just like us If God would come and stand here <laughs> Nobody would know Nobody would know. Whereas Bhagwan Krishna, Durga, Meyar, Kalima, nobody would know. You look just like we don't have the right eyes. You know, look, this thing, this thing we have, which is called eye. Eyes. What does the eye do? It sees. What can these eyes we have see? Material objects. Because they are material. In order to see divine. We'll have to have divine eyes. If we were to see divine God with our material eyes, we'll see that Supreme Lord as a material being with all the faults and defects just like us. So this is what the Lord is saying. Further he says, कर बेग सुनाहू तुम दो विद्या अपर अभिज्ञा दो बोलो जय राम श्री चाहिए जाग गुण बस जाके प्रभु प्रेरित नाही निज बल पाके बोलो जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम श्री बोले सियावर राम चंद भगवान की I asked this boy for the thing and he take it up and run away with it. This clock went crazy in my hand. बोले सियावर राम चंद भगवान की जय तो भगवान सेस लक्ष्मण सुनो ते ही कर भेद सुना हूं तुम दो विद्या अपर अविद्या दो दे आर टू काइंड ऑफ माया दो प्रकार वन इज कॉल विद्या माया वन इज कॉल अविद्या माया लिसन केयरफुली आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गो इन ग्रेट ग्रेट डिटेल टू नाइट ऑल्स आई वुड फिनिश द कथा टू एक्सप्लेन दीज थिंग्स इट टेक नाइट्स अपॉन नाइट्स अपॉन नाइट टू गो इन डिटेल so we have to listen very carefully what is vidya maya or vidya maya if we were to take a dictionary and translate vidya means knowledgeable knowledge or vidya means ignorance so is there a knowledgeable maya and an ignorant maya if you translate like that with a dictionary we will say <coughs> no wrong the vedas give us the answer अजा मे काम लोहित शुक्ल कृष्णा बहवी प्रजा सृजमा स्वरूपा 
अजो हे को जुषमाशीते जहा तेना भुक्त भोगा मजोन्य श्वेताश्वत रोपनिषद चैप्टर फोर वर्स फाइव द वेद से माया हस्ट्री कालज तिरंगी माया ट्री कॉलर्स देर अ व्हाइट कॉलर माया रेड कॉलर माया एंड ब्लैक कॉलर माया वट इज व्हाइट रेड एंड ब्लैक कॉलर माया मीन व्हाइट रेप्रेजेंट सत्व गुनी माया लिसन केयरफुली व्हाइट रेप्रेजेंट सत्व गुनी माया रेड रेप्रेजेंट रजो गुनी माया एंड ब्लैक रेप्रेजेंट तमो गुनी माया so maya has three qualities sattva gun rajogun tamogun tibhir guru ma yai bhave re bhi sarva vidam jagat mohitam na bhi janati ma me bhya param avyayam chapter 7 verse 13 gita shri krishna also says the entire world is deluded by the three modes of maya in gita so maashri quality satogun rajogun tamogun satogun the more of goodness rajogun the more of passion ambition hopefulness and tamogun the more of laziness sleep bad thinking wickedness some other time i'll go in detail about this all the three qualities and all of us a mixture so these three qualities rajogun plus tamogun combine listen carefully rajogun plus tamogun combine that is avidya maya and satogun alone that is vidya maya this is what is meant by vidya maya a vidya maya there are many names guna vadika maya swarupa vadika maya many names <coughs> so what does this vidya maya a vidya maya do lakshman asks bhagwan shri ram what does this vidya maya a vidya maya do bhagwan shri ram answered and said चाली जग गुन बस जाके प्रभु प्रेरित नहीं निज बल पाके जय राम श्री दुष्ट अतिशय दुख रूपा जा बस जीव परो राम जय विद्या माया सत्व गुणी माया विद्या माया क्रिएट्स द वर्ल्ड दैट वर्ल्ड वी सी अराउंड अस एक रचई जग गुण बस जाके प्रभु प्रेरित नहीं निज बलता के so the world we see around us mountains valleys rivers ocean trees birds 
animal, insect, human beings, that whole world we see around us that is created by Vidya Maya. Not by itself. Maya cannot do anything. Maya is told to be jad, inert, non-conscious. Just as this towel is non-conscious. It can't do anything. If I take my hand and I do like this, the towel can fan, right? But if I minus the hand, the towel again cannot do anything. It's non-conscious. This is, so Maya is non-conscious. To Prabhu prayed it. Nahi nijabalata ki. Not by its own strength. Maya cannot do anything. Through the inspiration of Bhagwan. Bhagwan inspires Maya. Just as the hand gives the power. And the, the towel is able to fan. In the same way, Bhagwan inspires Maya. Vidya Maya. And the whole world is created. So Vidya Maya creates the whole world. That world we see around us. And the Vidya Maya. Ek dusht atisaya dukha rupa. Jabas jeeva paro bhava kupa. A Vidya Maya does many things. It governs and controls us, the individual soul. It has made us forgotten who we are. Remember I told you in the, in the beginning, we have forgotten that we are the soul Atma. From beginning less time, we have identified with the body. It's because of Avidya Maya. Ek dushta atisaya dukha rupa. It controls and governs the individual soul. And having made us forgotten who we are, it throws us into this bhava koop. Bhava koop means this material world. Many names bhava sagar, bhava nidhi, bhava koop, bhava varidhi. Many, many names. It means this ocean of Maya. This world is an ocean of Maya. A world, an ocean of suffering. Atisaya Dukha Rupa. Tremendous pain and suffering. It keep, we keep rotating in 8.4 million forms of life. All because of ignorance. All because that vid, Avidya Maya has made us forgotten who we are. Now, I told you Vidya Maya creates a world. The outer world we see around us. A Vidya Maya also creates a world, the inner world of our mind, our thoughts and ideas. And the inner world of our mind is more amazing than the outer world we see around us. More astonishing and amazing. Let me explain. We people have dreams. Everybody dreams. In our dreams, we do some of the most impossible things. We jump over the highest mountain. We fly over the ocean. And do some almost impossible things. The outer world we see around us is almost none. This indescript when compared to the inner world of the mind. Now, the outer world we see around us which is, which is made of the five elements. Kriti Jala Pavaka Gagana Samira is the world we see around us is made of five elements. Earth, Water, fire, air, and space. That world is real. Real. Satyam Bhutamayam Jagat Mahabharat. Why? Satyad Bhutani Jatani Stavarani Cha Mahabharat. Because God created the outer world and God is real. So the outer world 
is not an imagination of the mind. Is not an imagination, is not unreal. The inner world of our mind, that world is unreal, false. It's, impos it is, it's important for us to understand which, you see, there are two worlds one inner world, one outer world, one grass world, one subtle world. The outer world that we see around us remains in one form, it doesn't change. Why the inner world of the mind keeps changing all the time. That world is false. I give an example. There's a woman standing. A lady standing. The lady is created by God. She doesn't change. She's still a lady. Now, so many people look at this lady and they have different feelings towards her. One person looks at the lady and thinks, oh, she is my mummy, ma. Another person looks at the lady and thinks, oh, she is my patni, my wife. A third person looks at the same lady, oh, she is my girlfriend. A fourth person looks at the lady, oh, my beti hai, she is my daughter. Another person looks, oh, she is my granddaughter. So many, everybody sees the lady differently from this example that lady the woman that god created that world is real our feelings towards that lady that inner world of our mind that world is false now the inner the dangerous the most dangerous world is which one is it the outer world we see or the inner world of the mind which is the dangerous one? The inner world of our mind. If somehow we can destroy the inner world of the mind, the outer world will no longer have any effect on us. Nothing is wrong with the outer world. All the problem lies in the inner world of our mind. And that's the world we have to fix. That's the maya we have to fix. And for that we have to do bhakti. In order to become free from that inner world of the mind, that maya, we have to do bhakti. That world will no longer have any effect on us. Bhagwan Krishna says in Gita, Daivi hesha gunamai mama maya duratyaya Mamevaye prapadyante maya metantarantite. Chapter 7, verse 14, Gita. Arjun. Maya is not an illusion. He's talking about the outer world of Maya, that Maya we see around us. It's a divine power that belongs to Bhagavan. He says, Mama Maya, Mary Maya is my power. No one can become free from Maya. No yogi, muni, rishi. Just by thinking on their own strength. How to become free? Mame vaye prapadyante. The word eva means only. He says, only the person who completely surrenders to Bhagawan. Surrender means bhakti. Jnani doesn't surrender. Yogi doesn't surrender. Karmi doesn't surrender. Devotee surrenders. The Lord is my master, I am his servant. My dasu. Jivera swarupa hai, Krishnera nitya das. Gorang Mahaprabhu says, The Jivatma, the individual soul, is an eternal servant of Bhagwan. Our aim in life is to do seva, to serve the Lord. By doing seva, by serving the Lord, by surrendering to Bhagwan, we become free from Maya and we'll attain the aim of life. So very briefly, Bhagwan is explaining. This is not an easy thing to explain. <laughs> Bhagwan says, I'm going to be very short to explain what Maya is. Maya is the whole cause. Akarachari 
लाख चौरासी योनि भ्रमट यह जीव अविनाशी इन द उत्तर कांड ऑफ रामायण द सेम तुलसी कित रामायण वंस भगवान श्री राम कॉल्ड एवरीवन न योद्धा ने गिव लेक्चर एक बार रघुनाथ बुलाए गुरु द्विजपुर बासी सब आए इन इलाव इलेवन थाउजेंड इयर्स वंस वंस एक बार भगवान कॉल एवरीवन न योद्धा ने गिव लेक्चर and he said many wonderful things and one of the thing he said jeeva avinashi the jivatma the individual soul who we are is avinashi avinashi means indestructible eternal that which never has a beginning never has an end never takes birth it never dies na jayate मृते वा कदाचि भूत्वा भविता भूय अजो नित्य शाश्वत पुराणो न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे चैप्टर टू वर्स ट्वेंटी गीता श्री कृष्ण से अर्जुन जीवात्मा द इंडिविजुअल सोल नेवर टेक्स बर्थ नॉर ऑज ए डाई no having come into existence does it cease to be because it is unborn eternal and most ancient it is not destroyed even when the body is destroyed so we have been in existence from beginningless time but yoni bhramat we keep rotating in 8.4 million forms of life suffering dog cat donkey worm tree grass besides going to hell etc we also have to keep rotating in 8.4 million forms of life think about it huh in this human body if it's too hot you can go in the room and put the ac on ac a condition it's too cold you can put the heat on you live in a country like america there's snow Hmm? you have to run inside and put the heat now tell me does do lion tiger dog etc can they go and put on heat these animals that live in the forest etc when it's too hot can they put on ac uh when it's the drought where are they going to find water sometimes for weeks these predators these lions they don't get food for weeks it takes a long while for them to catch a to catch a, a predator to to eat they starve that's where we have to go if we don't do the right thing if we don't do bhakti think about it now you have human birth what use are we making of it are we making the right use of this wonderful gift bade bhag this is one of the thing bhagwan shri ram said to the residents of ayodhya bade bhag manush tanu paava sur durlabh sad granth nigaava it is a greatest fortune he says for the soul that acquires birth in the human form sur durlab sur means devtas those devtas we pray to agni the god of fire varun vayu the god of wind kubera the god of wealth <coughs> indra the god of rain the king of heaven they are also praying for what you know what they are praying for this thing we have human body we are praying to devtas because we want to go to heaven That's all we can get by praying to devtas, and those devtas, they are praying for what? Durlabha manu sham janm prarthate tira shaira pi Narak Puran. The devtas, the heavenly gods, are praying to Sri Krishna. Hey, Sri Krishna, we are begging you, 
please give us birth in human form. We don't want heaven. There is nothing there. Because only in this human body we can do bhakti. Where we can become free from maya and go to the divine abode of Lord, the Lord where we never have to come back in this world and suffer. And that's the only reason for human birth, to do bhakti. How many of us know that? How many of us understand that? What is the reason for this human body and why is it so valuable? Do we understand the value of this human body? This thing we have called human body. Bhagwan is saying it is the greatest fortune that even devtas cannot get it. Bhaiya, Maharaj, and we have it and we just waste in it. Enjoying the senses, having a good time, drinking, eating, having a good time in the world. We don't understand the value of what we have. And this is what Ramayana is teaching us. This is what Ramayana is for. To teach us the value of what we have and what we are supposed to do with it. There's much more we'll hear another time. Balisya Varadam Chanda Bhagwan Ki Jai Umapati Mahadev Ki Jai Pawan Sutanuman Ki Jai Durga Maharani Ki Jai Radha Rani Ki Jai Bhuli Vrindavan Bihari Lal Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe